what's up guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we're gonna be doing another art video and we're gonna be doing more digital practice more detailed in-depth tutorials are gonna be available on my patreon you can find the link in the description but this video is most likely just gonna be a speed process video so what are we gonna be drawing I came across this Mewtwo picture a while back and uh, I thought it was pretty cool. Great use of negative space. I think it's like a trading card picture. Just goes to show you how if you use negative space correctly, it's super effective, uh, pun intended. You can see how basic it is. It's, it's basically just a silhouette, right? So we're gonna try to emulate the style, but we're gonna choose a different Pokemon. I actually already drew a sketch of a Pokemon that we're gonna be using in this video. Thank you guys for being here. Without any further delay, let's get this video started. Alright, bring you guys over here. Welcome to the other half of my room, aka my studio. And just gonna go at it. It's gonna be a really simple art video of me just practicing up on my digital skills. In this drawing video, we're gonna be using a digital tablet. The one that I use is the Huion GT. 156. I'm pretty sure there's far more superior tablet models compared to this one that are in the market, but this one is really good for what it is. So I've already taken liberty of scanning the drawing that we're going to be digitizing. It's going to be a Lucario, like I said. Uh, the drawing itself, super crude. Most of the refining is going to be happening in Photoshop anyways. So the rough sketch itself didn't have to be too perfect. I kind of have a vision of exactly where I want this drawing to go, and it's going to look super similar to the reference that we're going to be using. So let's get this thing connected and then we can get this drawing video started, finally. First thing you want to do is calibrate your screen. Make sure your workspace and your environment is comfortable so you can work hours on end if you really wanted to. Let's get it.
<clears throat> well guys, I think I'm gonna end this video here. It's just a super quick art video for you and for me just getting in a little more digital art practice. Patrons will have access to the full photo breakdown. I'll probably end up doing some sort of step-by-step -step tutorial for it as well, which I'm actually also planning on just doing a whole series of these tutorials and DIYs for my Patreon page. So if you guys are at all curious, feel free to support me on the Patreon. I recently put out a poll on my Patreon and it seemed like art processes was what a lot of people wanted to see more of on this channel. Don't get me wrong, I'm not gonna disregard all the other options on this poll. I'm gonna do those too, but art processes are probably the easiest thing for me to come out with. Just cause it's like killing two birds with one stone. And if I wanted, I could actually live stream too, but then it becomes just too much going on all at once. Appreciate you guys for stopping by the channel and watching this video and hopefully it was helpful in any way shape or form to you guys and your craft. All the info that I want embedded in your guys' heads is in the description box most likely. But if you do have any more questions regarding my art or just any questions you got for me, feel free to comment in the comment section. If you want to get updated when new videos come out on this channel, hit that sub button, make sure the notification button is turned on and I will see you guys on the next video. Peace. Thanks for watching. What do you want to know, girl? It's pish posh. <laughs> Can I get your uh, photo for the school tribune?